Hey everyone, this is Trevor again from the Wonder of Cichlids. I hope everybody's having a nice summer. Um, I'm, before I start doing a tour of the fish room and showing these fish, I'm going to answer a couple of questions uh, people uh, sent to me. So I'm just going to start and I just want to see if anybody has any ideas of videos I could do in the future. I want to do stuff on like maybe water hardness, water parameters and stuff like that. Please message me, let me know, give me a few ideas and uh, I will try and get it done and uh, try and be more, um, you know, be, be better with getting out videos on YouTube and sharing them to Facebook and stuff like that, okay? And uh, just giving my ideas and my opinions and how I do it and what I think. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know. Okay, so I did have a few people asking me what I feed and uh, in a nutshell this is basically what I do feed and uh, it's mostly northern, it's all northern actually other than frozen shrimp so I'm a, I love the bug pro, I do the veggie and the cichlid, the cichlid formula and I do soak everything in garlic guard. I love garlic guard. I use it. It's great for finicky eaters, especially when you're importing fish. It definitely helps us show your fish uh, eat a bit quicker. So that's uh, that's everything I use basically. And I store it in these containers. They're uh, nice sealable container containers, you know. And what I do when I open a bag and I empty one of these I actually have um, I actually have a sealer and I'll seal the bag then you know once it's opened and I'll put that big bag in the fridge and I'll just use them what's in this so the food is kept nice and uh, fresh you know you're not pouring it all out at one time I just prefer using containers they're easier to use on a daily basis when you're feeding as many fish as I have so basically it's mostly northern and uh, it's a great product. There's some great Northern sellers out there. You've got Lisa from uh, Super Cichlids, uh, Jay Wilson from Northern USA, and others, man. But uh, it's a good food. It's a small bit more on the expensive side, but you know, good ingredients cost good money, you know. So I would definitely recommend this. The other thing I do feed the bigger fish is frozen shrimp. And what I do recommend is go to Target or wherever you get your uh, food or groceries I get the frozen raw shrimp that's already pre-peeled chop it up and it makes a good good feeding for the bigger haps okay so I hope this answered uh, your questions about what I feed and how I store it all right so the other question I got a lot was a dehumidifier there's a lot of people seen it in one of my last videos so what I was doing with this, I was like emptying it every time it filled and basically dumping the water. But um, sometimes it could go hours by the time I got down here to fill or it might stop during the night. And you would get a small bit of a, a stale smell in the summer. Now since I hooked this up and it's basically being pumped out into the barrel on the other side and out into the garden. It's been running like 24-7. It's basically on low fan and I'm telling you man it's perfect like it's like there's no it's the smell has been great down here very fresh it's um it's the way to go man it's ten times better than like trying to empty it like every um every you know eight nine ten hours and then you're forgetting about it or if you go away on vacation or stuff like that you know you come back and there's that stale smell in the air you know but this thing is covering both sides of the fish room, doing a great job and um, like excellent, you know, that's all I can say. So if you're using the dehumidifier, which is a must in a fish room, guys, honestly, it's going to save you a lot of trouble in the long run, you know. Um, definitely hook it up so it's like uh, constantly on when needed, you know, and you're not, you're not uh, emptying it by hand. So I hope that helps, okay. So today we're going to start with some Olenicara, Olenicara Molana by colour, some really nice males here and plenty females now for those of you that were at the ACA last weekend I had these guys in the Malawi show tank. So 
There's some beautiful males and females here ready to go. And here we've got Nikolai Gauss's Olanacara Malaroi Yellow. A beautiful yellow hap. Very, very, very minute specks of blue in these guys. Some people like them all yellow. Some people like them with a bit of blue, but these guys are stunning. Little young turkeys back there in with the big boys, it's looking fairly nice. So those are the all in the car and Malaroi. We've got some nice females here as well. The female showing a nice bit of hint of yellow as well. And while we're on the yellow, here is the Olanacara Benchaibenga. Beautiful strain, these guys. So you can see these have plenty of blue in the face and they get a bit of blue barring at the end of the body. So if you like yellows I've got them. And plenty of nice females as well. Nice barring on them. And here we've got some Olenacara, Stuart Grant Di Chilumba. These guys are looking beautiful now. A lot of detail in the fins. Especially the de the tail fin. It's probably hard to make out in the camera, but um you can see it and it's like a lot of red detail there. There's some beautiful males in this tank. Get too close. And here we've got some Olenacara, Jacob Freeberg guy, Mamalella Undu, Lemon Jake. That was like a tongue twister trying to get all that out. And here we've got some nice males, some really nice females also. Those are your lemon jakes. And here we've got the Olenacara Mazin Zairif. Yellow color. So male certainly color up nicely. One of the rear fish. These guys darken up as they mature, you know. They get a nice black and you know yellow yellow color as you can see there. But there are some nice males here looking good. Not a fish you see too often in the hobby and definitely one that would be worth reading. And um, we do have plenty of females. And uh, Olenacara, Salosai, Green Face Lacoma. One of my favorite Olenacara actually. 
these guys as they mature get more of that red color and the, the green face really stands out as they mature you know but, uh, so we've only got males left in this um, what well, females are there they're actually heading up to Canada at the end of this week but that's the Olanakara so also green face the corner And here we've got the Olenakara, your Granta, Eusicea, Flavescent. Some nice young males here. I love the ones with the deeper dark tops. They all get it eventually, but you can see the dominant male here, look. Nice dark top on them. Down here it's a bit dark, but here I've got the Olenakara, Jacob Freeberg guy, Otter Point. And these are the real deal Otter Point, they've got the nice red as well in the fins, you know. And a lot of these guys going around as Otter Points and they're not pure Otter Points. But uh, these guys have all the traits. Next time I need to get them on one of the top tanks so the light actually shows them because these guys are beautiful, you know. So there we go, some Jacob Freeberg guy at her points. And down here in another lower tank, we've got the Olenakara male and I. They're beautiful sulfur heads. Another beautiful Olenakara. Definitely a peacock work breeding, that's for sure. I love how multiple males hold their colour and show their blaze, you know. They would look good in a species tank because all the males I could just like colour up nicely, it's great. That's your male and I. So we're going to move on from the Olenakara and I want to share one of my all time favourite Lettenrop species. It'll be the Marganatus Redfin Medima. So you can see here there are some stunning males down there. Beautiful green males with red fins. I'm trying to go in slowly because these guys get spooked easily. I hope these guys show up properly in the camera because they're um, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning males. Sometimes the camera doesn't do some of these fish justice, you know. But I've bothered them enough. So those are your um, red fin marginatus. Here is another litten rops. I just got in recently. It's the yellow color Mizimbe. This male is just starting to show some nice color. Starting to get those nice black fins and yellow on the head. So we've got some nice females here as well. 
and a couple of more subdominant males but um these guys are a nice fish as well you know not the fish you see too uh commonly around in the hobby so that's your assembly so here are some of the younger haps we have some young white lips these are f1 variant or I should say F1 white lips but some of these are spoken further on their way out but um, we will be getting in more very shortly you can see beautiful colour on these for the size beautiful fins as well So those are your Madoka white lips. And down here we've got another rear hap, very sought after. Your Mal excuse me. Your Malawi Gar. Rakisiceps. Acuticeps, I should say. And uh, so the ones that, a lot of these like are spoken for as well. But we do have some left and I will be getting more of these guys in as well, you know. But um hard to sex at this size like but be perfect for a person that wants to grow them out for a breeding project. I actually went through the um, Olenakara so fast I forgot these beauties. They're the Olenakara, Hoserai, Midnight Lakoma Island, another passive uh, Olenakara. The beautiful thing about these guys is that they do very well in uh, species only tanks because all the males will colour up as you can see. And they actually do very well mixed with Latin rocks. So if you're looking for a nice dual species tanks, these guys will do very well with a Latin Rops uh, uh, species, you know, in a nice community tank. And those males will be showing beautiful colour. So, those are the Hoseri. So here we've got the Prolamella, Steve Knight, Taiwan, Taiwani Reef with beautiful ivory heads, beautiful red anal fins. This is how Taiwan Reef should look and these are young males like these aren't big you know overly big males I think the biggest there is about four inches the rest are about three and a half three point seven five inches look at the color on them absolutely stunning Ivory head, rain old H bars, beautiful top fins as well. And this is another group that's heading up north to Canada. These females with a couple of those males later in the week. And here's another all in a car I skipped over. The ruby red. So here's a beautiful fish that does well in species only tank if you want to get the best out of them. If you're going to put them in male tanks I suggest that they're in with other um, similar fish, you know like um, other all in a car and other like smaller haps. Don't be putting them in with anything too robust because they'll show a colour, they just won't get anything like spectacular you know. But these are a beautiful strain, these are all young males and look at the colour on them you know. Plenty females here as well to breed. And here we've got another Prolomelis. The Red Empress Namalange. Some nice males here starting to colour up. Actually 
you have a few females in here holding as well. To honest to God, these guys don't stop spawning. Every uh, t every order I get, females are holding. Those are red empress. And here we've got the Copacromus, Azorus, Mabenjoy. These guys are always stunning looking. Couple of holding females in here as well. So these are just perfect Azoras, perfect body shape, perfect hip shape, nice spotting in them, not blotchy, you know beautiful fins in those guys as well watch the trailers here in that guy man gotta get closer to him hey buddy come on stressing them out a bit but these are stunning stunning azores So another beautiful rare hap here, the Olopharynx, Oro Marginalis, Margaret, Lycoma. So some beautiful looking males here. So for you guys that are into breeding fish and want something different, I've got five females here and you've got some beautiful males to go over them, you know. Well, the males seem to be doing well together as well, you know. They haven't been stressing each other out too much, which is good. And here's my feisty bunch. We've got some Olenacara, Eureka Red and Prodomelis, Willinodus Tanzanians. Sharing a tank together. Some nice blue and yellows here on these uh, spilling orders. Sorry for all the glare here and the, the pictures, but I'll try and isolate this tank here in um, the next couple of days and uh, do a separate video of this tank. Some nice young Eureka meal starting to show some nice colour. The lighting isn't the best over here. And here we've got Sinochromus fryeri iceberg. Couple of dominant males here, plenty females. Actually, when these guys came in, they were all white. So you can see some of the subdominant males are starting to lose their uh, color. So for these guys to look their best they need to be dominant, they need to be in with some females. And those um, other two females you see here are fry rice snow white. Unfortunately I don't have any 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 more of those in the shipment. Hopefully we've got them uh, next shipment, but um So some nice fryer right here. Very stunning.
And here we've got the Autothionix Tetrastigma. Some nice young males here, plenty of females. Some nice red anal fins in these, beautiful shape, perfect head shape as well. I would say this fish is probably most people's favourite uh, hap from my experience. The, the Placidochromus venochilus Tanzanian Lipingu. Some young males. I, most people have probably seen ghosts as breeders, you know, they're spectacular. Or plenty of speckles. Or chips, or whatever you want to call them, but some quality females here too. So, if you're looking for um, to produce quality fry, you're going to need quality females also. So, these guys are just starting to speckle up nicely. Here we've got some other pharynx, Botsani. Some males there starting to colour up. Another green hat. These guys are a rare fish you're not going to see every day. So we've plenty females also. So these guys are just starting to get their colour. As they mature they turn out to be nice fish. So if you're looking for some spots and I let me know. So here we've got the Odafanix little bits, the sulfur head. I don't have too many males left. So I've got four young adults and one young juvie male starting to colour up. So these guys have really got a nice golden yellow to them. The reflection in this tank is terrible but if you look over here I have another nice male. This is actually a breeding group I have available. So if you're looking for a breeding group of uh, little bait sulfur heads from Gauss, I've got a nice group here. If you can see the females have that ivory head as well. So good looking females and these guys these don't stop spawning. I can't even keep up and like they just don't stop spawning, you know. Let's see, can we get this guy out of his come on buddy, get out of here. So that's a beautiful male. Beautiful golden colour. So if you're looking for a breeding group, let me know. And here we have Metre Clima Zebra Gold and this is the Mandola Point variant. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful meal here. So the downside to these fish is that I only receive pears. And the way it's looking I might end up keeping these guys, putting them in the 125 full of rock and try and get more fry out of them. Or hold on to them and see can I get more females in the next couple of months as um, I just can't offer anything better than peers and I don't want to be stuck with males of these Mabuna these guys need some room so if someone's willing to take peers let me know private message me but some of these females are spectacular look I mean unbelievable watch that look Nice young males as well, you know. I 
And here we've got some young Pasitochromus, Pasitochromus <laughs> species blue water to Sano rocks. Just starting to get some color. So the last shipment I had some nice big males but these guys are uh, some younger males but for the guys that like breeding rare fish or want something unique these are definitely uh, for you. But if you're looking for them we have them. And here we've got some beautiful young male Nemochromus Livingstonei. Some male Rostratus, your sand divers. So um, I do have three males, one guy is fairly coloured up, the other guy is in too far behind. So those are three males and I've got a one female left back here. So these are beautiful clean looking living stone eye as well. Beautiful fish. And anybody that's breeding some Champsochromus, Curious, the Malloy Trout, I have a tank full of females, no males. And I've actually got a few young Christii males and I actually have a young Christii female as well left. So <laughs> plenty females. And here we've got a tank of Nimbochromus. We've got some Nimbochromus venustus with some very, very, very fertile females or fertile males and good females I should say. They spawn constantly. So I have six females. You can see there's some absolutely stunning looking males in this batch. So anybody looking for a nice breeding group of uh, Venustus, let me know. I'd need a midwife for these females alone. They spawn so much. But even these females have a nice little lime green to them as well, you know. This female here is a beautiful lime green. And she's starting to show like a little ivory head in her as well. And here we've got a Nimbochromus polystigma. It's an F-form polystigma. It's left. And we've got some young Nimbochromus fuscanatus. Meals available as well. So they're just starting to colour up. Um, if anybody hasn't seen uh, Gauss's breeder males of the Fuscanatus, oh my god, you've got to go onto his website and look. I've never seen a bluer fish in all my life. Nimbochromus, you know. So, here's some Nimbos. And here we've got some Chrysogaster, some young males, and they're starting to show some colour. These guys are definitely starting to show some colour, getting blue in the face as well, some colour in the body. And here we've got the Protomelis, Spilinotus Mibengi. So this is another rare Protomelis. These guys, that ivory head, as they mature, it takes a long time for this fish to mature, that's the only downside I'd say about them. But if you see these guys when they're fully dressed and that ivory head starts turning yellow, they're absolutely spectacular. So a very rare fish. So there's a, there's a few males in here as well starting to colour up. Another guy here starting to get his colour. And I've got some Stigamachromus, Tuali, another rear hap, some nice juveniles just in, 
there's actually some 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 darkness already. So if you're looking for something rare, a rare hap, these are definitely for you. And here we have some other Farnex Walter Eye. Another rare hap. These guys are see the first batch I sold of these, they're all starting to colour up now and everybody seems to be happy with them so if you're looking for something rare this is definitely a hat for you but unfortunately they're all young i could pick out some young males definitely but um that's about it really with these guys you know I, some of the most of them are on sex but i could definitely pick out a few males you know And here we've got some Fodamellas regardless, and she's the island, a very rare, um, a very rare Fodamella species. If you look back here, we've got a young male here already showing colour, just went in behind the filter. The reflections are terrible so it's hard to get a good um, picture of these guys. Another big male, big male out here in front. So if you're looking for something different and rare to grow out, these are definitely for you. And not to bore you too much with the juveniles, but I've got some of these beauties left, the Mylochroma species Macuse. Definitely a fish work growing out, spawning. So. I've got juveniles if you need them. So I actually do have more Mabuna on the list and I have a lot more Mabuna coming in because I've got a lot of requests to bring in more Mabuna. But the problem is when I go to their tanks they just hide behind the filter so I basically don't want to be showing you um showing you like a video of filters, you know. So um, I'm going. I'll try and uh, get you know individual um, videos of the Mabuna eventually, and I'll post them on my Facebook business page. I'll try and get more videos up there in the next week or so. So it's the best way to check out is go on to Facebook, check out the Wonder of Cichlids business page, and if you're a social fish person, check out the Wonder of Cichlids group page on Facebook. I'll add, the, I'll add both links in the bio. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching and thank those who uh, comment and leave feedback and reach out to me, email, text me. As I said, I'm very, um, you know, I make myself available, so don't hesitate to call if you need email or reach out through social media and i will do my best to get get back to you okay thanks guys take care and enjoy the rest of the summer okay